Once again, full disclosure. This box was sent to me by the Berkeley Nucleonics Corporation free of charge. Uh, but I will have to uh, send back the contents, which is a bit of an esoteric equipment. And uh, yeah, I guess nobody of you or... <laughs> Yeah, that's really a guess. Maybe some of you have, but most of you won't have seen such a piece of equipment. And it's not your usual electronic test gear, so there will be not a function generator or an oscilloscope in here. No, it's an, okay, it says here in the corner, you can't read it, digital delay generator. And yeah, let's get this thing out. Okay, accessories and this looks very well packed. Uh, yeah, according to the price tag that's associated with it. Let's get this out very carefully and I guess there's nothing else in here nope perfect so get me let me uh, get that out of the way and we focus on this nice piece of machinery here and yes uh on the other side of the bench, there is still my <laughs> electronic load, and I will continue with that as soon as, yeah, uh, the problem with my ankle, <laughs> not my ankle, my spouse's ankle, uh, yeah, has been alleviated a little bit more. But for now, yeah, tearing down hard disks and unboxing equipment. So let's see. Oh yeah, that looks a little bit different than the usual stuff. And yeah, the box contained their model 577 pulse generator or delay generator. And that's the model with eight channels uh yeah <laughs> you find those things um usually not on an electronics workbench but in um yeah for example physical research and yeah let's have a look around what's on the back okay uh power switch fuse yeah, IEC power connector, oh, it has a USB and it has, okay, clock in and clock out. Well, this is a complicated piece of kit. And yeah, I will tell you all about it in a second, uh, as far as I know. So this is not a carrying handle. This is actually something to stand thing up and it's not made of plastic it's really made of metal and even without yeah switching it on uh, yeah these buttons are they feel <laughs> professional let's say they feel professional and even that thing here oh yeah that sounds like quality. Uh, just let me try to get that over the charge belts. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Uh, let's fire that thing up and uh, adjust the camera a little bit. There's not much else in the box uh, regarding accessories, uh, two business cards, a USB stick with, uh, I guess, the manuals and uh, software and whatnot on it, which is very nice to have it on USB because uh, nowadays uh, 
sometimes you don't have a CD-ROM or DVD-ROM. Uh, European style power cable, very handy for me. And um, yeah, I guess American style power cable. And a product catalog and uh, yeah, here we have some information about that thing. Yeah, and that's what we got here. A digital delay generator with <laughs> 250 picosecond delay and width resolution. Uh, yeah, to put that into relation, uh, the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second in vacuum, uh, approximately. So 300 million meters per second and sorry doing some math so in one nanoseconds so four times as much as that light travels in vacuum um, 30 centimeters and I will zoom out to give you uh, something <laughs> uh, to look at uh, that's not 30 centimeters here and in 250 picoseconds, it travels 7.5 centimeters or, uh, yeah, three inch approximately. <coughs> okay. And, uh, yeah, 25 picoseconds arm as jitter. So, uh, translated into the speed of light and vacuum, um, a jitter of, 7.5 millimeters and why I'm talking speed of light, uh, I'm zooming out now again, sorry. Uh, why I'm talking speed of light, I said this is used uh, in physical research and such. So uh, at universities, uh, research facilities, if you need precision timed signals to trigger some other equipment. So this is rarely used alone. This is used to trigger equipment in an exact order with an exact timing. Yeah, error, jitter, less than 25 picoseconds uh, to do some physical experiments and stuff. So let's, I connected it, uh, let's switch it on and see what happens. Hmm. Huh. Oh, FPGA. So it has an FPGA, of course. And we got the menu. And uh, yeah, uh, at that point, because yeah, this is not like uh, your run of the mill uh, yeah, electro um, oscilloscope or function generator, which we all have uh, yeah, at one point or the other actually handled this. Um, requires <laughs> some studying of the manual, but uh, yeah. Uh, oh, rearm. Uh, control menu. Yeah, I'm just playing around. Uh, yeah, we have to uh, connect <laughs> an oscilloscope or two, eight channels, uh, yeah, and maybe uh, trigger an external function generator to get that thing, yeah, uh, up and running. And I will do all that, but this is just the unboxing for now. Yeah, just playing around, sorry. <clears throat> Don't have much to say. Oh, info, yeah. Okay, model 5778, serial number 35810, berkeleynucleonics.com. And there's the second page. Ah, yeah, the important stuff. Uh, firmware version, FPGA version. GPU version. So, oh, there. 
I have to contact them if they would be okay if I teared that thing down because, uh, yeah, you know, uh, 250 picoseconds timing resolution. Uh, that means, yeah, to reliably measure that with an oscilloscope at that resolution, you would need about eight giga samples. A scope with eight giga samples, if and if you don't <laughs> just want to see an uh, yeah RC charge discharge curve after your analog front end, uh, yeah the um, <clears throat> equivalent <laughs> analog bandwidth. So yeah, I don't have such a scope, and uh, I heard they are expensive, ten gigahertz scopes or yeah. <sighs> anyway. It's not, oh, you hear that noise? Yeah, I hear it too now. Uh, yeah, let me put the mic. At the back. So yeah, it, it has a fan and uh, yeah, you see that in, in, in a big lab, in a big physical lab uh, with uh, <laughs> a lot of huge machines, <laughs> uh, particle accelerators, whatever, uh, don't ask me. It's been a while since I was to university. And uh, yeah, so uh, I guess that little noise that coming from that thing doesn't really matter. Uh, but I've bubbled enough for now was just an unboxing and switching on and uh, yeah there will be uh, of course a review which what you can do with that thing in fact and how you do it uh, maybe I mean this would be most interesting to have a look inside maybe but I have to ask for permission uh, a tear down I mean I want to see that FPGA and a GPU no uh, what else might there therein be? Um, maybe a thermally controlled clock? Mm, interesting stuff. Um, and maybe, maybe, I told you 250 picoseconds is, uh, yeah, vacuum speed of light. Uh, three inches, 7.5 centimeters. Maybe, maybe with some other external stuff we can measure the length of BNC cables. Something like that. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. Anyway, uh, bought you enough for today. Bye.